This video demonstrates the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Trap Array on a trapezoidal metal roof. Using your Zepulator layout for reference, mark the locations of the trap mounts. To install a trap mount, align it to the layout mark and drive self-tapping sheet metal screws with integrated sealing washers into each of the three holes, taking care not to over-tension the screws. The bracket is properly oriented when two sheet metal screws are down roof from the larger machine screw location. EPDM on the bottom of the bracket provides a watertight seal at roof penetrations, eliminating the need for additional sealant. After all the trap mounts have been secured, the front row leveling feet are installed. To install a leveling foot, place it squarely on the trap mount base and secure it with a machine screw. Install the eastmost and westmost leveling feet first, and then run a string line between them. Install the remaining front row leveling feet using the string line to ensure that the front row is straight and the rockets on the top of the leveling feet are level. Next, carry the array skirt sections to the roof. Place the first section of array skirt on the key side of the front row leveling feet, adjust for the correct cantilever, and rotate it into place. You will feel the array skirt snugly rotate onto the keys of the leveling feet. To keep the array skirt in place, insert a jam into each front row leveling foot. To install the next section of array skirt, place a spacer onto the key side of an interlock and insert the interlock into the array skirt at a slight angle, aligning to the timing marks on the top of the interlock. Using the ZEP tool, rotate the ZEP in the first section of skirt 90 degrees from position 1 to position 3. Rotate the next section of array skirt onto the remaining leveling foot while simultaneously turning the second ZEP to position 3. This causes the array skirt to fully seat. Then install a jam as before. The array skirt is now ready to accept the first row of PV modules. To install a module, place the groove along the module's lower edge onto the tongues of the front row leveling feet and interlocks. Use the alignment marks on the interlock to position the modules and to maintain consistent spacing. The marks are about half an inch or 12 millimeters apart. Then pivot the modules downward while applying pressure down roof, causing the module groove to seat on the tongues of the leveling feet and interlocks. On the top edge of the modules, at the trap mount locations, install the leveling feet by hand. The positioning of the leveling foot is done by eye and does not require measurement. After the first two modules and their associated leveling feet are installed, couple them together along the upper edge by installing an interlock at the module seam. Insert the interlock by hand into the groove at a slight angle, making sure to maintain a consistent gap between modules by referencing the alignment marks on the interlock. Use the ZEP tool to turn each ZEP from position 1 to position 3, aligning the numbered timing marks on the ZEP tool with the timing marks on the interlock. Once the modules have been coupled using the interlock, leveling feet are secured to the trap mounts with a machine screw. The interarray wiring is managed on the uproof edge of the modules. To secure the wiring, load a cable into a cable clip and snap the clip into the groove. Slide the clip along the groove to eliminate cable slack. Two clips per module are recommended for proper wire management. Now that the front row is complete, check the array for level and make any necessary adjustments to compensate for an uneven roof surface. Using the ZEP tool with a T30 Torx bit inserted into its end, rotate the threaded stud of the leveling foot to raise or lower the array at each leveling foot location. Once the installation of the first row is complete, install subsequent rows of modules in the same manner as row one, dropping in, installing leveling feet, coupling modules with interlocks, and securing wiring. The tongues of the interlocks and leveling feet allow fine adjustments to be made to the modules in order to optimize placement and to correct for slight variation in frame size, while ensuring that rows are straight and gaps between modules are consistent. This flexibility allows for continual truing of the array as it's built. A third-party junction box or combiner box can be installed on the perimeter of the array using ZEP Solar's universal box bracket. After rotating the box assembly onto the module frame, insert a single jam to lock the assembly into place. Because the interlock is a listed device for establishing ground bond connections between modules in both east-west and north-south directions, there is no need to install separate grounding hardware within the array. 
In order to carry the ground path back to Earth, install a ground ZEP with a quarter turn of the ZEP tool on the perimeter of the array, where it can receive the PV Array Equipment Grounding Conductor. This completes the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Trap Array on a trapezoidal metal roof. For full instruction on how to install a ZS Trap PV Array, visit the ZEP Solar website at zepsolar.com. There you will also find the Zepulator online design tool which will assist you in your layout design, specify attachment point spans and cantilevers, and generate a bill of materials.